Aloha folks and welcome back to a completely new world. Uh, I'm sorry for, well, deleting, I, I guess, yeah, ending the last world. I realized from the comments that people didn't necessarily like it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do from now on is basically keep up with one world for as long as I can. So we get as much variety as possible. Uh, although, of course, if you do feel that starts to get a little bit tiring, you can go ahead and tell me. Uh, also, thank you so much for the uh, 100 likes, though. that's actually quite amazing. I think I'm going to be keeping it at 100 likes. Uh, I think that, that's a reasonable goal we can achieve every week or so. Um, oh, you want, already want to make love. So, okay, I'm just going to go through what we've got going on this uh, new planet. Uh, I mean, part of the reason I del deleted the last one was also because I was getting massive amounts of lag. One, the world was two times the size of this, which is a little bit too much to keep in check. Uh, and also, well, it was getting a little bit boring personally, but but maybe you didn't feel like that. Um, now, okay, this world, what we've got is basically an ocean biome kind of thing. Uh, we've got an oasis here. We can see the satellite map here. Um, the temperature differences are height-wise, so the higher up we go, where the colder it gets. Of course, right now I've kind of made everything pretty much the same. The, the differences shouldn't be too drastic because I, I've been experimenting around and if you make them too that drastic it just becomes a a bitch and uh, also we've got oh yes a noise map on the fertility uh, which is why we can see certain areas uh, kind of dry but um, otherwise we also have what was it I totally forgot oh yes of course now I remember uh, we've also got the meat efficiency ratio up to two times the efficiency of eating trees and the grazing efficiency to uh, is 1.5 so that, I mean I, I like trees so they're probably not gonna be eating trees and we're gonna see more carnivores uh, why did I do that because normally uh, personally I feel like I see too many um, herbivores in my worlds so we're gonna try to create some variety, so to speak. So round one, uh, we still have like just one major species here. We're very early on, but uh, I've been able to, or I only put it on ultra speed, but basically starts killing off uh, populations that aren't reproducing very well. And what we've got is this group here, maybe another group here, a small one, but it's basically just three big groups and two smaller ones that may become groups later on and uh, this will hopefully be the basis of our of our speciation. Also some more useful information I've uh, put the creature cap at 750 slightly higher than the last time uh, but I think we'll, uh, the computer will be able to cope with that. Also I just lowered the fertility level if you're noticing more deserts and that's because I felt it was a little bit too green uh, which is normally because the fertility level for some reason just bugs and starts off at 2.0 which is not actually something you can go to so I just went over to the maximum which is 1.0 alright so we're finally get some uh, getting some nice uh, variations here uh, some legged creatures uh, yeah some eyes some uh, ooh, uh, horn what do you call those it looks like uh, spider things, you know. Uh, a mouth. Wow, that's a weird mouth. Uh, ooh, three eyes. I've never seen that before, I think. And back legs there as well. H hind legs, actually. Uh, but we still have only one big dominant species at the moment, and that's basically the the ground state, the, the starting state. So I'm just going to go on and uh, see what happens next. So we're finally getting some cool variation here and there. Oh, driving these rovers is always a challenge. The uh, only problem I'm seeing is that we don't really have enough trees anywhere. I mean, they're growing on the coasts, but otherwise they keep grazing the land and uh, drying it up so it basically kills 
the the trees. I'm considering raising sea levels as well to create an uh, either create more more of a barrier or just incentivize tree growth, or maybe I should lower temperatures perhaps. Yeah, I think that that'd be interesting. Uh, there's always also a dominant species somewhere around here that was really cool. It ha had horns and stuff. Uh, not that one. Um, and I, I don't know how many carnivores we've got. I think everyone's still an omnivore. We're very early into the uh, simulation. Oh, you're a, you're big. Ooh. Actually kind of scary. I found one. We've got a carnivore. That's amazing. Uh, now, how do I find one in his horde without, like... Is it Primoa Spoenices? I have no... Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, here? No? There? Yes. Is the other one an omnivore? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to find it. No real luck, um, but I have found cool creatures. Like, I, I love contrasting, like, these orange, yellows against blacks. It just... Oh, so much color. Uh, where else? We've got a lot of these this kind of branch, um, even though they're completely separate from each other. Uh, most of them have some... They're all, they all have kind of like tusks and stuff. Um, here we've got uh, just weird looking stuff. No, not very different at the moment from what you'd normally see. And here we just have some weird kind of horde, uh, which a pack pack animal, probably. I left the game at a normal mutation rate of 0 0.8, uh, but we're already seeing quite a lot of colors, quite colorful. Um, I think, I don't know, this world has been quite good. We haven't been reaching the creature cap too much, it's balanced itself out nicely uh, so far, and uh, our tree is growing quite happily. Actually, I'm gonna zoom out here, we've got this main group, and that branch just died out but uh, it, was, it was going pretty well. Our web of life, that's always kind of laggy, uh, but here it's still working. Normally it start, stops working after a certain size, like this group here. Uh, population history, we can see that this blob now branched off into two different categories, or actually even more now. And uh, yeah, I actually really like this, this one. Um, normally I I don't really like the population history, but now I've just started liking it more because because I don't have only one massive species. So you may have noticed that I raised sea levels, but now I've actually uh, lowered the temperature quite a lot um, and uh, lowered the sea levels to uh, our maximum. I'm gonna start seeing. I want to see the differences in in biomes, like a little bit hotter uh, climates and then colder. Climates. I really want trees. Like I, I, I purposely put the fertility rate, or in the efficiency rate of trees, l lower down so that I I would be able to have more trees. But that isn't working for some reason. Okay, I've just discovered something really cool that I just hadn't noticed for some reason. I can feed trees, at, with high sizes and other colors and shit. So, uh, yeah. I'm totally gonna do that. Alright, so I'm looking at my um, satellite map here, and it seems like we have got some a pretty cool biome over here. I'm just gonna go. That is that is a nice enclave. I think it has to do with the trees as well, somewhat. Uh, we're feeding trees with a high size, and this one has a high size, so this robot's just like, yeah, I'll give you more, 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 and more. Um, otherwise, uh, we are pretty doing pretty well. We've got so maybe like five, what, one, two, three, four, five, six branches sprouting off. Uh, these guys, this one, these, oh, that one's cool, this one's cool. Uh, that one, oh, pink. Um, these ones are also pretty cool, but kind of generic. And they're all basically furry because, you know, it's pretty cold right now. Um, but we're gonna change that eventually. I feel like we've opened up too much 
of the biome here. They're moving around too much, so I'm gonna raise the sea levels. Uh, I don't. I basically just only lower them because I wanted trees. But now that I know that I can feed trees, then uh, I have a way around that. So for some odd reason, I decided to go on a rampage of experimentation, and I lowered the fertility level to 0.3, and now it's at 0.4. Um, and and the these part these groups of uh, animals are actually surviving. I mean, they're all herbivores, which is why I even lowered the 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 fertility in the first place. Uh, actually, we, now we have more om omnivores. But I was looking at the 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 graph, and it was all almost everyone was becoming a herbivore, which worried me. Um, but we're gonna continue like this for a while. We might raise temperatures. Uh, but it's just amazing that they can sustain themselves in this barren land. Ah, shit, I'm reaching critical levels. I'm raising the fertility quite rapidly here. Um, I really don't want them to die, but I may have fucked up. There must have been one individual here that I hadn't accounted for and hadn't seen before that gave rise to this uh, entire group surviving here. They're pretty cool. Look at them. I mean, uh, it's just... They're just different. Looks like torsos with... Ah, oh, that neck. That's just really weird. These ones... Eh, fluffy. And uh, then there's uh, this lo other group here. It's also fluffy. Ooh, I, I just found a bug. Look at this. This one is a major species, right? But we don't... It's not lighting up the fossil rec record there. Which is uh, kind of odd, in my opinion. Now this is the little group I was talking about. Ooh, they have horns. Cool. Uh, yeah, anyway, um... So we pretty much only have three groups alive at the moment, and that's their population history. Yes! One individual, actually two maybe, have made their way to this new landmass here. And it's just... I'm, I'm telling you, it's just gonna populate incredibly rapidly. You know what I think the devs should put in this game? Sounds, or not sounds, yeah, sounds, sorry, I just thought I mispronounced that for some reason, but um, like different creatures making different sounds and competition, I don't know, it would be pretty cool, and then environmental sounds as well, so if you're driving with a rover, or maybe so doing something else, you know, just zooming in, you kind of get to hear the the environment that you're in. That, that'd be pretty awesome. Turns out I wasn't right about this environment because uh, there are height differences, which mean te means temperature differences. Uh, but it seems that most of the population from this area just migrated over here. We've got a few members walking about here. And I see that a lot of the these ones... Uh, of this family group are trying to cross over this way across this lake which is kind of interesting because first they crossed over from the north down to the south and then over here and then from here they're trying to get on over here which is uh, pretty awesome so I raised the sea levels a bit um, just to separate the populations turns out these guys I don't think made it over uh, but it's gonna see them. It's gonna be interesting to see how they deal with uh, this environment right here. Over here, that population kind of spread over down south, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna keep going, I guess. Although this would actually be a pretty convenient point to end it at, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a summary. Uh, we've got two main branches, maybe three if you count that one there, um, surviving. Uh, these black, orange, uh, furry figures, and these ones which are lighter colored, uh, some orange green there, interesting. Uh, we've also got some darker uh, coloreds there as well, which is kind of interesting because they look very similar to uh, these ones in many ways. And over here, pink furry furry it's kind of interesting that the furry thing is still going on uh, of course the climate's pretty cold this is more like a not a Swedish forest I mean maybe it's just a lack of trees but or, or uh, a lack of different tree textures but uh, if you look at the earth it's supposed to be pretty cold uh, 
especially considering that the cool it has a cool temperature here, average of zero point or negative zero point uh, two. So there, there's still quite a bit we can go upwards. Um, anyway, I think that's uh, that's good enough for now. I'll uh, upload another video as soon as we get to 100 likes again, and uh, I'll see you guys and girls later. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Game Gabster. Farewell.